Today we're at the site of this abandoned FedEx office here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It is a standalone one, which makes it pretty rare. I guess they relocated to Del Range where they're at today. So it's at least not gone. It's just not at this location anymore. And I've gone here a lot as a kid. So let's go ahead and see what's left. All right, and here we are. You can see that they've already taken out the FedEx signage. It did start as a Kinko's. Go ahead and take a look in the first doors, or the first windows, I should say. There's a look over this way. They did do an expansion, if I remember right, it's on the left side of the building, so it's probably that bit there. Uh, that is where they had all the copiers and stuff like that. Uh, they had the main counters and uh, employee areas over here in the middle. Let's see, what else can we do? We got the door here. Not gonna be able to see much in there, which is okay. This building was built in 1975, most likely as its previous self, Kinko's, a copy and print shop that had locations all over the world. In 1988, FedEx became Kinko's shipping partner. Six years later in 1994, the Cheyenne Kinko's expanded on the east side of the building, adding more space for copying and printing, etc. Another nine years later, in 2003, FedEx would agree to acquire Kinko's in an effort to combat challenges from the United Postal Service, aka UPS, rebranding the store to FedEx Kinko's the following year. And then over here is where they would have had more of the boxes and products. They also had the computers set up over here on the right. You can see the FedEx shipping area over there because of the colors. One more thing I want to point out is that here in the winter, there would often be a buildup of ice and snow, so it would get really slippery. So in this sense, I actually am happy they got a better location, but it is too bad that my childhood one, <laughs> like the Barnes & Noble, is not gonna be here anymore. And there are a couple of windows on the other side here. Unfortunately, this one has a blind on it. Does this one, yep, this one has a blind on it. And this one has a blind on it, so we won't be able to see in there, but that's all right. Yeah, I came to this location quite a lot as a kid and even teenager. In fact, even right now where I'm at now, like I very recently went here to uh, get cards printed up for you guys. In 2008, FedEx announced that they would be dropping the Kinko's branding, this location converting to FedEx office by September 2011. In 2021, they began looking into a new space for this FedEx office. They chose a space previously occupied by a Budweiser liquor store located in the plaza in front of Cheyenne Sam's Club. In 2022, this store officially relocated to the new space, opening by March. Today, their old space continues to sit vacant. Looks like right here they have a back door. Let's see some old walls there. Do you got what looks to be some kind of loading dock thing here? And a door that we might be able to see in. A little bit, you can see hangers right there. Um, can't see much else though. Just for the fun of it, let's see if there's anything in here. A few boxes, nothing special. It's not a whole lot to see, but it's definitely unique to see in a, a standalone one. Usually I see them in plazas or even in Walmarts, which ironically, this one moved to a plaza, so. <laughs> I would like to give a special thanks to my patrons who pay me to film theme song video covers for the YouTube video trailer. If you would like to see additional content and get a taste of what happens behind the scenes, I encourage you to check out my Patreon page linked on the screen now. To see a video of another Cheyenne store that relocated, please click the video on the screen now. I hope to see you in the next video.